from your breaking news station. This is Local 6 at 4. Right now in Local 6, finally a bit of relief in the way of rain. However, it may be too little, too late. We may soon be in for new water restrictions. And a new twist in Friday's fatal hit and run. Investigators are now searching for the SUV's passenger. Good afternoon, I'm Jacqueline London. I'm Marla Weech. First at four, a bit of rain. Unfortunately, it's really not much, not enough to make a dent in our rain deficit. This video from just a short time ago in Pine Hills, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sewells is here to show us where it's raining right now. You know, it's not enough to do much good, but man, is it exciting when it's raining at your house. I mean, did you get in on this today? Oh, yeah. Hopefully you did. Take a look at who's getting it right now. It's over here in Volusia County, where the heaviest of the showers are for the moment. They're not really out of hand heavy, but some of you right along the immediate coast here still clinging to just a little bit of, of rain activity. Here's A1A. Here's Edgewater right there. And there's Packwood Place. This is rolling right across Pine Breeze Lane right there with 18 one hundredths of an inch per hour. So it's calming down the farther it goes. A little... I don't know, maybe 45 minutes ago, it was over here just outside of Deland, and it was rocking with lightning bolts and hailstones and the whole thing. But as it goes across the state, it begins to slow down. We've got another pocket of activity just to the south of Claremont and south of Windermere over here. Here's Walt Disney World right in there. You see Bear Island there. This is going to roll right across 27 here within the next 10 minutes and work its way right into the attractions. So widen this view out for you, though, you notice one thing, and that is, wow, in the last few minutes, things have really slowed down. As far as the widespread rain goes, still a little pocket of activity there outside of Deleon Springs. But otherwise, it's really slim pickings out there. Coming up, we'll talk about why we're getting the rain now and what your rain chances are for tonight and tomorrow. And our other big story, investigators are now searching for a passenger in a fatal hit and run. 14-year-old Megan Hensley was hit and killed Friday on County Road 565A in Groveland. Over the weekend, troopers found the SUV they think hit her, but so far, no arrests have been made. Mike DeForce is live at the FDLE Crime Lab in Orlando. Mike, what's going on out there today? Well, uh, sometime uh, possibly...